One, two, three, four. Jaya, 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 jaya. Bak chan, bak chan, bak chan, bak chan. Jaya, 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 jaya. Bak chan, bak chan, bak chan, bak chan. That's her song. <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions edits. I'm, I'm Corbin. Jaya Bakchan. <laughs> so I've, I've said this before. I'll say it again. I want to know what it's like to be a woman. Say it again. I want to know it what it's like to be a woman. I just said I was Jaya Bakchan, but I really do. I want to know at every level of existence, what is that like to be a woman? You know, God's a woman. Ariana Grande has a song about it. Uh, <laughs> My wife wouldn't disagree with you. <laughs> Ma Durga, baby. Uh, today, uh, we got an interesting one. We got a one of those tape cast. Oh, Yeah. Got it. Took you a Where second. You, yes, you press the button. We started doing those like very early. The first one we had was, was with with Kalki and Anya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think we did one with Vicky yep. and his wife. We did. This is uh, Shahid Kapoor and and Raj Kumar Harani, who is now doing that new film with Shah Rukh Khan. He's the director of Three yep, Idiots, the PK. Um, and so I thought I'm it was assuming a, they've worked together. I don't think so. No, because he's only done five films, I believe. Like those films that were in the teaser. Or all those were it. Those are all the films. So he's only ever done bangers. <laughs> wow. So talk about a wow. Talk about a, a a track record. Seriously. So I think that's why everybody wants to work with him. <laughs> and that's what everybody says, like because he specifically writes out all of his own stuff, and then you know does all the preparation, directs it, and then edits it. And so he takes a long time per, and that's why he only has like five or six God credits. God bless him. That's crazy. Cool. Uh, but anyways, we love these. Yeah, this is always um, great. We, we, we enjoy these a lot. Um, I think it's a really interesting format. You don't have a host ruining the vibe. We are the first Bakras on this show. I'm really worried. So I am also very worried. This beautiful... Uh, yes, so well, I have no idea. Yeah, neither do I. Sure. Should we just... Yeah, let's begin press and play. Uh, Good afternoon, gentlemen. Welcome to Tapecast. My name is... Well, never mind who I am. What matters is who you are. Shahid Kapoor, meet Rajkumar Hirani. One of Bollywood's most celebrated filmmakers. One of Bollywood's most respected writers. And one of Bollywood's most underrated actors. One of his finest performances as an actor can be seen in an ad for Fevicol. Raju Hirani meets Shahid Kapoor, arguably one of the most versatile actors of this generation. From playing shy lover boy Prem to an unstable drug addict pop star Tommy to draping a dupatta around Aishwarya Rai, <laughs> Shahid Kapoor bless you. can do it all. Gentlemen, and header. Each of you lie two boxes. The boxes contain questions. You pick the topic. Failure. Do failure. Questions. Absolutely. Absolutely. Choose failures. I'm here to take you on a journey. I guess he doesn't have any though. Any <laughs> At least not in film. There is no limit to their creativity. They are the rule breakers. The norm makers. Are you <laughs> Seems like a sweet guy, people? honestly. Yeah. So am I. Let's find out what makes them go beyond. Grey Goose. <laughs> Failure. Okay. Hmm. It sounds pretty simple, <clears throat> except we're doing it with cassettes, which used to exist while I was a teenager, which makes me feel rather old. Same. But don't worry, Shahid. Like, you'll feel older yeah. soon. <laughs> so, sir, I'm going to start with the topic of relationships. Hope the tape recorder doesn't eat your tape. <laughs> Damn scary. It's coming up, I don't know. Now, Mr. Hirani. In an industry like yours, what do you feel are the qualities that define your true friends, the ones you value the most? Uh, at least I can speak for myself. I think we're so obsessed or caught up with our own work that all our relationships are usually with people you're working with. Mm. Like if I have to look at my life, I've spent, I think, more time with Abhijat Joshi than I've spent with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so if my wife is hearing this, I'm going to be in trouble. <laughs> you can say Rajesh. Rajesh also does that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Usually they say you know you you make friends when you're in school or in colleges, yeah. and those are your true friends. Later all are kind of acquaintances. You never make friends after that. But uh, I feel I've made friends after that whom I've spent time with. Like with Bhaman also I've taken umpteen holidays. You just he'll just call up and say, like once our film was being screened in UN. Like you know, was in the UN and I was in the I was in New York. He happened to call me. He asked me where are you? And he was close to my office in Bandra. So he said. Uh, Where are you? I'm close to office. I'll join you for lunch. I said, "Yeah, from far away, I'll take you. I'm in New York. I'm sitting. What are you doing? I said, uh, you know, Lagiru Munna Bhai screened at the UN. So, why didn't you tell me? I would have come. I said, so tomorrow, come. Come. He said, arrived. Yeah, I thought he's joking. He said, "Ah, come." Then he spoke for five minutes and disconnected. Yeah. yeah. Next day, one hour before the screening is happening, I'm about to leave. There's a knock on the hotel door. I open the door and Bhaman is standing there. Wow. And I couldn't believe that. Wow. Said, there. And we had such a lovely time. So, uh, so I guess our work defines our relationships. But it's a great, great space to be in. It's a great space to be. In. The industry is a hard place oh, to find shy. friends. So, now, what do you want? What Real do you friends. Real yeah, friends. Go for it. I have no idea what's in it anyway. So shall I begin with the same relationships? Let's see. Let's start with me. Mira wala itna safe nahi hoga. Sir, mujhe lag raha hai. Okay. Here we go. No. That sound is nostalgic. Yeah. Kapoor, do you think stardom affects relationships? Tell me, you had an arranged marriage. How were you able to gauge that Meera was interested in the human being and not in the star? Mm. Uh, Interesting. Does stardom impact relationships? I think. Uh, I didn't even know he was in an arranged marriage. Whatever profession you're in, uh, will <coughs> have an impact on your relationship, especially if you're working a lot. So I think stardom comes with a lot of things which are probably beneficial for an actor. in many ways but they're quite a burden for his life partner a lot of things i also didn't know will come along with being a star i was 20 21 when i did ish fish and at that time all i wanted to do was be in front of the camera and you know be able to perform and act and do what i've you know i've grown up watching these great actors and these great movies and i just want to be a part of that i mean i love what i do so much that uh, what comes with it is something i've learned to live with i'm not very natural with it for example i was a bit of an introvert yeah. so to be able to interact and engage with people was something i found very difficult in the beginning because i even though my father's pankaj kapoor but my parents separated when i was very young and i didn't really grow up with him so nobody knew i'm his son mm. uh, so mm. I, when i entered the fraternity i was pretty much an outsider Interesting. That answered a question we had about. Interesting. I think a lot of the people within the fraternity have grown up together. So I'm guessing he grew up with his mom. Kids of stars, I'm guessing then. Filmmakers, or producers, or <coughs> distributors, or whatever. So they kind of know each other. You know, there's a there's that fraternal feeling mm-hmm. between them. You know, Vadik, Muhammad Ali had once said that I want to go to a place where nobody knows me. I want to find a girl, woo her, marry her, get her back to where I come from, and then tell her who I am. That's amazing. <laughs> Actually, that's that's. I think that sums up deep down what most actors feel because you always wonder whether the people you're meeting are first of all perceiving you as the personality as opposed to wanting to discover who you are. So yeah. So when so we you never felt threatened that yeah, my kids could date कर रहा हूँ वो वो मतलब सर हाँ शाहिद को actor को date कर रहा है या yeah I mean honestly when I was single almost everybody I met of course that's the first thought that crosses your mind that is she here to meet me or is she here to And that holds true for other people as well as friends as well. You know, is he wanting to know me because I am Shahid Kapoor? So to speak. Yeah. You know, so that thought is always there. So, Absolutely. Uh, learn to keep it simple, I think, not overthink it. And yeah, when <laughs> when I met Meera, actually she is very unassuming. I honestly didn't know whether we'll be able to talk also because she was twenty one, <laughs> and I was thirty four. And so you know, she's from Delhi. I'm from Bombay. I'm an actor. She's just passed out of college. <laughs> so I really didn't know what we will talk about, but we end up. ended up speaking for 7 hours we really got along and there was no conversation about movies there was no conversation or questions or curiosity towards how is my life mm. what happens in the film industry what is it when you go to star parties uh-huh. and how is it when you're on a set how do people treat how do you feel when you go a come out of the airport and people come running none of the, those questions were asked so it was got you Yeah, well, if it works, God bless them. 
because I think that's what most actors want. At least I hope they do because that's what makes you feel normal. So yeah, so it was very normal with uh, with Neera, and uh, I'm sure there's a lot of things which come along with being a star which were difficult for her to adjust to. Like the first few times, you know, she went out, I used to always keep telling her that you know I think you should take a security person with you. And she used to always look at me like, what's wrong with you? Like, why? You know. So I was like, until I think it's good And then after 4-5 times, she went to the mall once, she went to the supermarket once and she came back saying, Shai, there are people staring yeah. at me and they're randomly yep. walking up to me and touching me and all. Oh, God. And so, so, you know, so, yep. so I was like, uh, yeah, now you know why. And she, <laughs> I remember there was an article in the paper which said that why does Meera need a security guard? She's not a star. You know, and she came short to me. She said, yeah, me wish it was that simple. If insist that this happens, then they will perceive me as if I'm trying to so be starry. Professional hazard. You got yeah, to but it's that. a professional hazard, <laughs> you know. And uh, I'm sure there were many things like that. And our biggest concern was Misha because we wanted her to feel normal. Uh, and that will always be our concern. And I will always ask myself this question whether I have burdened her because of who I am. Mm. And uh, that's something I have to live with and, and try and undo as much as I can. But I can't change it. Now I have to ask. So let's talk about. Sir, I think many of these don't. Uh, failure to aapka hua nahi hai. Compromise aap karo ge nahi. Failures, that's what I said. Do not play Jaro, sir, man. Achha. Matlab, do not play to nahi karna chahiye. Hmm, I'm surprised you picked this one. What's the one thing you're comfortable cheating on, Mr. Hirani? Chalo, achha wa thing bola, person nahi bola. Yeah, aap is actor ki baat hai. What's the one thing you're comfortable, comfortable cheating, on? cheating on? If my wife is listening to this, <laughs> very curious to hear this answer. What I do cheat on her is, I actually love to be with myself a lot of times. Sometimes I actually come home and I'm thinking I want to be with myself. So I just get into the car alone with some music and drive down. <laughs> I've driven from where she know this or she'll discover this with this show. I don't know. I go to Navy Nagar, I've done that like twice at some nights just traveling. That's pretty normal. And, uh, I come back I've heard a lot of people do that. I can totally connect with that. My commute is not very <laughs> far, so. Sometimes you need to stay with yourself. I remember when I was getting married, uh, I was shooting for Uddha Punjab. Oh. So, I was in Amritsar and Meera <clears throat> was living in Delhi with her parents mm -hmm. at that time. So, it was just a 40 minute flight and we were at that stage where we were getting to know each other. And she said, should I come see you? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, for the first 10 days, I don't want you to come. And she at that time was so thrown off because she was like, what kind of a guy are you? And like, you know, we're kind of getting to know each other and we're supposed to get married and you're telling the girl you're thinking about getting married to not to come see you. What does that mean? I was like, you know, I can't explain this to you, but I hope someday you will understand, you know, why I need this space because it's one of the most difficult characters in my life and I don't want any distraction. I need to be able to only be here. Mm. You know, and many years later, actually when I when we were seeing the film, so by then we were married. Then, uh, when, I, when I showed her the film, we had a small editing room, we saw a small TV. Pe dekhi. Mm. And I remember we went and a sofa was so big. Mm. So we went and sat next to each other. And I got involved, yaar, work kare, ye, nahin kare, ye, ye, sa ho hai, kya ho I was very nervous about my performance in the movie. When the interval happened, I looked here and there was a distance of 10 feet between me and Meera. <laughs> From here, she had actually moved there because uh. she got up and she said, I don't think I know you. Uh. Because who's that guy? And if you're that guy, I don't want to marry you. Or I don't want to live my life with you. So she was actually so thrown off. When we're talking about Uda Punjab? Time, yeah. That I could feel that whenever we were at home, huh. even if I would come close to her, she would give me that energy of, uh, I need time. Like, just yeah. keep your distance. So, you know. And cheating is something so subjective, actually. What is cheating? Cheating is something I guess you want to do for yourself because you like to do it. Sure. And you don't know how to hurt the other guy. So you're saying, okay, I'm hiding it and doing it. That's cheating. Yeah, but even not giving yourself time is cheating yourself in no. a way. So like I, I remember I had my first cigarette when I was in the film institute. In my final year, I never smoked before that. So my friends told me, don't buy a cigarette. Bum from us. So you start buying, you start smoking. Yeah. So I was drinking from a bar. I was going to go to my house and take a train from Pune to Nagpur. Now in the train, I felt like, yeah, I have to have one. So that's the first time I bought my pack of cigarettes. Packet. Now I have to hide it from my dad and mom. I went to the house and kept it Next morning, dad walks up to me and uh, he came with a carton of cigarettes. Some expensive cigarettes. Smoke up, Johnny. 
looked at him and said, no, 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 smoke. He said, no, no, I'm not asking you to smoke. He said, good one, smoke this one. He said, no, no, mom's found it. So, smoke this one. He said, you come here for limited time anyways. And all the people who smoke, then, you know, walk out, have a cigarette. So, I'll miss out on my time with you. What kind of cigarettes did you smoke, Rick, back in the day? So, that was also cheating, but... I tried to smoke. Very old father, yeah. Yeah. Uh, vantage Ugh. and then no, unfiltered no, camels no, as an actor no, on stage unfiltered that's a mistake yeah it was unbelievable do not play again for Shahid do not play fair enough which film companion had subs for all these I'm surprised you picked this question. <laughs> Has there been a film where you felt cheated by your director? Oh. Calmly, answer calmly. Yeah, don't, get, don't get annoyed. Don't get annoyed. How honest is being is good? That is a question right now. You can cheat on them now. <laughs> and be polite. Yeah. There have been a couple of films, I would say, uh, where I felt cheated for the very reason that I felt that the filmmakers were not, uh, not, not in it. You know. They're very successful filmmakers, the two that I'm talking. They're two people who come to mind right now. Uh, they're very successful at that time. I like and the question. I think that was the problem. And uh, I actually have huge respect for you, sir, for this one thing. Because I don't know anybody who has seen success the way that you have seen it. And I'm not seeing any change in you, sir. And it is so inspiring because over the years, uh, one understands that finding success in the, relatively, I think, is much easier than keeping it. Your true character defines where you get eventually, I feel. Talent can bring you success, but talent can't keep it for you. And it's very important to know uh, how to keep your focus, you know. Because but do you, do you start while the film is being made, any film? I start freaking in, out. In so. the journey, you start knowing that it's going wrong? Yeah. Yeah. I oh, you can see, tell. There are so many films which Easily. Wrong where we gave it 100%. Yep. But when the process is... Lord, ah. when you're seeing that mm. everything is an okay take, oh, and uh, sometimes the filmmaker is looking at his phone while a shot is going on. Oh Ooh, my good. my word! So for me, I thought maybe you know, <laughs> yikes! Yeah, yeah, cool hai. And you know, these days, you know, man, you know, filmmakers are discovering themselves. You know, so ये सब सुनने में आया था वो टाइम पे, and I was like, होगा यार, पता नहीं, because ये बंदा है, तो बहुत अच्छा है, इसने पिक्चर तो अच्छी बनाई है. So it's very frustrating and it's very painful because I don't think anybody wants to give one year of their life to a process which is flawed. You know, and I always feel that in this in this profession we should always be process oriented and not result oriented. Absolutely. Because the result is not up to anybody. So know. just be true to the process and then if it's wrong, it's wrong, we'll try again. We were all together in the journey, Absolutely. you know. So your best, your best might not be good enough, but that's okay. Yeah, that's exactly. Good. Intention is good. Yeah, exactly. That's Name who they were, Shahid. No. Right. <laughs> he won't. For the one and only Mr. Raju Girardi, who I'm having a wonderful time <laughs> learning from oh, in God. this beautiful interview. No, Shahid. All true words. <laughs> Raju, a friend of yours has a question for you. The success of your past films make you feel scared. When you make a new film, mm. how do you does. deal with the pressure of expectation? Oh, that's high. Expression. It's Imtiaz, right? Yeah. Imtiaz. Um, Im See how I guessed it. I can't forget his voice. It's such an original voice, Imtiaz. And now you're about to have one with SRK. I deny the fact that uh, uh, it's only a first film which you make completely fearlessly. Yeah. Then that's what Orson Welles would say. And you, in a way, tasted success tasted the appreciation and you want that to happen all the time but all i tell myself in that period is that there's no formula for success historically look at every director in the world people have made successful films people have made films which have not succeeded yep so it's going to happen to me someday i'll make films which will succeed someday they won't succeed all i can try and do is be true to myself and not think of a formula for success the moment you think of a formula for success, you try to preempt what the world is going to like. That's going to be the undoing. I undoing like that. I like, th I like that thinking. As honest as you were. It actually makes sense that he told Shah Rukh Khan not to do that. Under this pressure of me, this works, this works. Forget that. Make it for yourself. But so the moment you become dishonest and say, yeah, ye work karta hai, ye, 
एटम स्ट्रॉन्ग डाल लू यार ये मैं एक एक्शन सीट डाल लू हवा में उड़ा के एंटी ग्रेविटी कुछ कर लू ये तो That's your recipe for disaster. Yes. Once you start doing stuff that you know, you're not true to the story. Yep. Every time, try and find one, a unique story, and try and find inspiration from your life. You know. Uh, so then they are true. The moment you start picking from uh, other films or other sources, it's never, it's never. Yeah. Pick reflections of life, and they are. I'm not saying that there's any formula. We will still fail. It might still fail in. You create from a real space. Basically, you take yeah. something that you connect with, and then you start evolving. Uh-huh. And, and so then it's it's just new, you know. It's like how Rocky did that first, that whole training thing. He's boxing and he's going. Now every sports film you see, yep, will have that. It's aping that. So they it's, replicated it's, that. Now it's boring, yeah. right? Now you watch that every film. Give you tire, laga ke tire se kudra hai, the skipping, the jumping. Every film has that, so it's boring. Sure. Right. Point. Sure. But you dig into your own life. What stand-up comedians do actually? They're constantly seeing. Uh, uh, you know, identifications of life, reflections of life, and they're picking up from what people do. Sure. So when you sit in the theater and see that, yeah, you say, "Asad, my Asad, bhi hota hai." Yeah. I know somehow it does something. Yeah, it yeah, gets through. Ha, it gets through. Even the language barrier sometimes just goes for a toss. So, you can totally relate. Uh, all you can do is continue making films and amazing stuff. Be ready to fail someday. Great insight. Great insight. Just, shayet. just shayet. not with SRK. Challenge for you. Shahid, I have a surprise for you. A fan of yours has an interesting question. It's hey, me. Shahid, uh, Naman here from Chennai. Uh, love the trailer. You're looking great. Uh, my question to you is: With time, um, ideologies of people change, and uh, so you know uh, the way people used to think earlier, they don't anymore. So how does it affect you as an actor? to assume the character of a person who is you know from another century and his ideology is so different so much so that he could have multiple wives <coughs> oh nice question very very nice question aman so the answer is similar to what uh, sir said uh, i think if you cannot relate to a character at any level i don't think you should play it you can spend time trying to reach a point where you can find something that you can connect with and that can come from the filmmaker it can come from the script find yourself in the character it's essentially saying you can't judge the character don't judge the character and if you do yourself. don't do it yeah exactly find something where you feel you can connect with it and then yes. you know it yes and therefore you can represent it and play it correctly yes. for people to believe you're him so yeah. interesting thing if you're playing hitler you have to relate to hitler Sanjay yes so makes historicals and he's i think the best in this country at that absolutely uh is that he believes that if you if us while we are sitting and discussing a scene <clears throat> cannot relate to it we should not write that scene or we should not do that scene oh. because we are making it for an audience in 2017 not 2015 2010 so it has to be a cinematic experience which can be understood appreciated which people can relate to and i think eventually every story is a human journey yes um, every film is about relationships and universal people, truth it's about emotions yes and i think that's why cinema somehow never goes out of fashion great films will all, always be great films i mean films that might be technically laughable are still classics yes. because even though they were made at a time where sometimes the camera is going like this or you know the visual quality is really bad or the sound sometimes is not good when you see it and we're used to all those things being so good today what holds you in a film i think is the humanity of it amen the end yeah amen ab hum badi relax ho jayenge haan ji the end laga do oh well it was great chatting with you fine gentlemen stupid i can't thank you enough for being here and sharing your experiences and thoughts i'll be back soon with new faces new tips and more There's a lot more questions I'd like to ask. Yeah, thank you, Jalan. Yeah, that's great. There's a lot great. more questions I'd like to ask both of you. Yep. But uh, I feel like they had some really good answers. Um and especially uh, towards the back end there when they when they started to get into the craft a little bit. Um I was really enjoying that. And it's no surprise. And I I know we've saw him very early, but he's not a name that kind of stuck in my head. Me too. Um and but I know he has to Indians mm-hmm. because after we did that thing with SRK and him like people are like I love SRK but this is a I'm so I'm more excited for the fact that it's the, him the, he's a new film of his right. than I am for for Shahrukh Khan um just cuz of his track record and the the kind of films he makes PK 3 idiots those are I mean and 
uh, Munabai and BBS. Those are, even though we haven't seen it, I know it's a classic in Indian cinema. Yeah. Um, but it, it's it's no shock that that he has that viewpoint of you have to come at it from an honest place and not a, a place that of just doing trick. I mean, you've talked about a lot of, uh, on the channel with acting. If you if you reach into your bag of tricks. You, you're gonna be able. To, people are gonna be able to tell, mm -hmm. even though they people might be, who know. Even though they might be really good tricks. Yep. You're not being honest anymore. Yeah, the people who know. And Same who, with directing and writing. Yeah, the the people who know and are the 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 movers and shakers of the art form, and if you want to be part of that, they'll they'll recognize the difference. And it is you pointed out rightly so. It explains there's a truth in that teaser, when when SRK said romance and he said yeah we're not going to spread the arms <laughs> and i it makes me wonder how much srk is going to allow himself to start stepping into some new thespianatic places like mm. we've wanted yeah where he's given permission to not be who he's been because it works yeah because that's the line you have to draw artistically is on the one hand you have fans who have an anticipation of what you're going to provide Yet at the same time, are you just going to become a stereotype and a cliche? Mm -hmm. Or are you going to continue to reinvent yourself and find, as Shahid said, the humanity and yourself in each character because you're an are you a performer or are you an actor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and then obviously Shahid's answers weren't um, um, shocking at all to me. No. Uh, he's, that's the style of actor that I've, I've known he is. Um, since we first saw him in and have, and have seen snippets of him talk about the the craft, um, and he he understands and loves the craft. And the fact that that thing about he said about the character, he's like, you have to relate to this character, and yep. that's a very true statement. Yep. If you're playing a rapist, uh, a mass murderer, it doesn't matter. You have to be able to relate to this character in some way to yes. play him authentically. Absolutely. Otherwise, you, you've prejudged him. Yeah. You, obviously, <laughs> you're not like gonna go out and rape people. Obviously, right. this is your job. You have to be able to play this character and play him honestly and know why he's doing what exactly. he's doing and not and not judge him for what he's doing. I can't tell you how many times that's come up in different classes I've had with Howard Fine where an actor has said those very things. And he will specifically give people roles that will challenge that. And they'll say, how am I supposed to play this when I would never do that? And he'd say, like, for example, a rapist. He'd say, okay, you may not go out and rape someone, but you've got that in you. Have you ever had the thought in your mind of doing something vitriolically and horrifically illegally violent in a moment with someone? Have you ever had that fantasy? Be honest with yourself. And they'd say, of course. Okay, there's a rapist in you. If you're honest with yourself, you could find an evil dark place where when push came to shove, you might flip that switch and find that dark place in you and if you can't don't take the role yeah and uh, and i've heard him say it a lot especially when uh, kabir singh was coming out and there was that whole controversy you know the right because he because he hit uh, yeah, the, 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 the 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 abuse heroin in 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 the film um and people were like why is the hero doing that why are you encouraging and he's like i'm i'm not he's a flawed character exactly what the <laughs> <laughs> he's we're not saying it's good to hit people this is just this character story and he hit his significant other <laughs> no and it's really one of the things that we love most about complex characters is that human beings are flawed so even the greatest hero can can be a flawed hero man don't ever if you don't like uh, flawed people I, w I just watched this film called naked i don't know if you ever saw it no 1993 film uh david lee i think is is the director but the lead in it is um um, David uh, Lipser, he plays Lupin in Harry Potter. Oh yeah, it's 1993. Oh, tough. That film <laughs> is a there's there's raping going on in there. Oh, there's no. there's uh, and it's the whole thing. It's a very it's like a almost a philosophical style film. So you're like, what does this mean? What does that mean? All this kind of stuff. It's a very film school students' favorite Got film, kind of film. Yeah yeah yeah. Like. Everything means something. Yeah, d yeah. Um, I enjoyed it, but man, is, is that <laughs> you know <laughs> talk about movie? talk you, about a terrible character? Yeah, you know what movie you'd probably like too. That's a very similar thing in terms of what you just described. Mm. Is is the film Titan? Oh yeah, I've never seen it. It's it's. Do not let Leland get his eyes anywhere near, <laughs> anywhere near the screen. Yeah, it is 
it, it, it shows you the darker side of human nature mm -hmm. through metaphor and imagery that's a, a, a mostly mostly metaphorical. The whole thing itself is a metaphor, mm -hmm. but it's it's hard to sit through. Yeah. It's one of those films that when it's over, you will feel like you were almost violated in yeah. the watching. And that's the in, that's yeah, what that's it's intending the, to do. Yeah, it's the yeah. intention of the film. Yep. Anyways, yeah, great conversation. We'd love to have a conversation with both oh, of them. Both of those gentlemen. Um, I think it would be a really interesting talk um, for, for, for different reasons for each of them. Yeah. Um, but uh, that was great. Uh, I don't know if there are there others of these. Let's, oh, they look like Raj Kumar and Farhan, Farhan Khan. Who is that? Farah Khan. Farah Khan. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Ashwari Raya and Abhishek Bakchan. Where? Oh, that's just a joint interview. Sorry, no, it's not, a, for it's the not tape a tape. Cast. Yeah, I don't know how many of these they did, but uh, Raj Kumar would obviously be a really interesting one. Uh, but anyway, I'd love to see Raj Kumar Rao and Fahad Fasil. Yeah, I think they usually try to get people of different. Well, I guess not because they had um, Vicky and uh, what's her name? Yeah. Friend? And his wife, yeah. but they weren't. It wasn't his wife at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, anyways, anyways, great yeah, stuff. Let us know what other ones we can react to and uh, what should be both of their next films that we should watch. Please let us know down below. Just